Rich Reddy, I'm a CTO and co-founder of a company called uh, SpringML. And what we do is uh, we provide sales operations as a service. Uh, what that means is we provide applications as well as process expertise to run your sales operations. Um, how many of you are in sales operations field? Okay, I'll try to make it interesting for the rest of you as well. <laughs> um, so here are a few companies that we've worked with. Uh, what we do is, like I said, provide a blend of cloud applications that leverage machine learning, as well as process expertise in order to support and augment your sales operation teams. Uh, why a combination? Because we believe that uh, certain tasks like pipeline analytics or sales forecasting are repeatable and we can leverage machine learning to automate those tasks. However, there are more specific customized uh, uh, functions, for example, sales rep compensation um, and uh, you know, quota and goal setting, which are done once a quarter and so on. And there, it's more specialized, uh, it's very specific to the business and that's where we bring in our process expertise. Um, so sales analytics use cases, as far as the application where we use machine learning, that's what I'm going to focus on. We do forecasting, deal prioritization, and outlier detection. So forecasting is just uh, the uh, act of predicting what a company might do in the next 12 months. Typically, companies have a pretty good handle on current quarter, but as the horizon looks more into the future, it becomes more and more difficult, and that's where a machine learning algorithm can do a better job. I'll focus also on outlier detection. That's not talked about a whole lot. Basically, what we can do is identify patterns within your data. So for example, if you have a bunch of opportunities in history, uh, some of which have won, some of which have lost, we can identify patterns to then predict what a currently open opportunity might do. And how does forecasting work? We learn from the three basic tenets to it. Uh, we learn from historical data which gives you trends and seasonality. Um, are there specific months or quarters where you do better than others? We look at interactions in data. So for example, how does hiring new sales reps impact your uh, total revenue? And finally, non-linear relationships. What, uh, what, that does, what that means is, uh, you know, for example, marketing spend does not always correspond one-to-one -one with revenue spend. There's always a non-linearity associated with it. So a machine learning algorithm can detect those. Machine learning algorithm, anybody guess what this means? <laughs> it's garbage in, garbage out. Machine learning algorithms are dime a dozen uh, in this world, right? You have Python and R programming languages where the machine learning algorithms are open source and you can use it. So you feed it in data, and it'll give you a prediction. So it's very important to understand certain techniques and also to understand how data can be processed and normalized and transformed in order to get the best accurate accuracy. Um, it's also important to uh, figure out how you evaluate these models. Uh, a forecast given the last day of the quarter, even if it is 99% accurate, is not much use. Uh, it's how well you do first week of the quarter so that there can be planning done. Let's see, uh, I'll skip that slide. Um, this is the architecture, very simple architecture that we use uh, at SpringML for our application. Uh, primarily, we use a platform called Apache Spark, which is a distributed platform. And we are able to take in data from various systems, SaaS applications, primarily we rely on Salesforce run our algorithm and push the data back into any of your visualization systems. So we have three listed here. Force.com, application lightning enabled. Um, Salesforce Wave, um, the analytics platform, as well as any additional Tableau or any other BI systems that customers might have. And then just a couple of screens on the Force.com application here I've listed. We also do what if analysis. So for example, because we've used machine learning, we are able to give the users an ability to figure out what happens if I do this. So for example, what happens if I, let's say, increase the number of sales reps? Does it, in what way does it uh, increase my revenue, and so on and so forth. Thank you.